His hands only centimeters away from a hydraulic post driver, Tyler Cochran's job does not fall under the category of safe. But the 30-year-old ranch worker never imagined his closest encounter with death would come from what he calls a mistake by hospital staff. Disappearing from his leg are the scars from a rattlesnake bite Tyler received one week ago. It burned like uh, someone had a blowtorch on my bones. That's best I can describe it. Miles away from civilization, he and his boss scrambled to Medicine Hat's regional hospital. Everyone was rushing around. Uh, the, I heard the doctor tell the nurse to go get the anti-venom. Uh, yeah, they just kind of changed their story when he came back and said that May, the, their supply had expired in May. Inside the emergency room, Tyler recalls a confusing situation where doctors and nurses told him their supply of anti-venom had expired months ago. He says staff also changed their story, attempting to convince him that he did not need the snake bite antidote they were going to give him moments before. Uh, we called poison control and the lady said uh, that I had to get somewhere. It was then Tyler lost hope in Medicine Hat's regional hospital, rushing to the Bow Island Medical Center. There he claims doctors gave him the medicine and called him an ambulance, sending him to Lethbridge for more of the anti-venom to fight the poison crawling up his leg. Though according to Alberta Health Services, Medicine Hat's regional hospital had a stockpile of anti-venom the entire time. We currently have anti-venom to treat snake bites and it's, it's valid and within date and we can be administered if needed. Dr. Paul Park says staff at Medicine Hat's Regional Hospital, along with one other Lethbridge facility, are the top in the country for dealing with snake bites. Privacy legislation prohibits the doctor from going into detail about Tyler's file, but says that their expertise makes them ultra aware of which patients are in need of antivenom and which simply need to be monitored. Is there anything that indicates that it would be a better benefit to the patient to give them this treatment that does have risks than it would be to hold off and observe and to treat accordingly. So are your doctors here in the emergency room practicing as they should? Uh, I, I would say absolutely. Tyler's wounds have almost healed and he has returned to work. What has not been cured, however, is his mistrust of the local hospital. I think someone should be held responsible. I, the comment I made when I was there to the doctor before I left was, uh, like, I have a two-year-old girl. Had that been her, she would have died. They said that at Bow Island and Lethbridge. A child would have died. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.